Welcome to the Move Expectancy Value Theory in a Moment training. When students make the decision to complete a task or follow a rule, they are applying the expectancy value theory in every moment of their thinking. They consider the factors that occur to them in that moment and weigh their expectancy and value to come to a final decision. Let's look at an example. Meet Billy. Billy is trying to decide if he should follow the classroom rule, work during all work times. Billy asks himself, what are all the positive things that will happen if I do follow the rule? I will get a good grade. I will get a reward. My teacher will give me attention. My parents will approve. Other factors could be included, or these could be excluded, depending on the structure and the culture of the classroom and what occurs to the student at the time of process. The student assigns a value to each of the expected outcomes. In the same moment, Billy considers all the positive things that will happen if he doesn't follow a rule. These are things that would influence him to not follow the rule. I will get peer approval. I will get teacher attention even if it is negative. It will take less effort. In the same moment, Billy asks himself, what are all the negative things that will happen if I don't follow the rule? These things will motivate Billy to follow the rule. I will get punished. I will get a bad grade. My parents will disapprove. What are all the negative things that will happen if I do follow the rule? My peers will disapprove. It will take more effort. So Billy is evaluating all these motivators at the same moment. He is considering how likely they are to happen, how much he values each outcome, and what are all the costs associated with his decision. He will only consider things that occur to him. At the end of the thought process, Billy makes a decision based on the factors he considered. His motivation to follow the rule is greater than his motivation to not follow the rule. So he follows the rule. Let's look at all the factors Billy considered. Grades, rewards, teacher positive attention, teacher negative attention, parent approval, peer approval, effort, and consequences. Of these factors, several of them are teacher created like grades, rewards, teacher attention, and consequences. Because Billy's teacher created several classroom strategies that included both expectancy and value to Billy, he considered them in his decision process. As a result, Billy followed the rule. If those strategies are removed, Billy might make a different decision about whether or not to follow the rule. In this example, all that would be left is parent approval, peer approval, and effort all things that vary greatly among students and all things out of our control. If we wanna be an active part of the decision process of our students, we must create the structures and systems that add expectancy and value into our classroom.